Hey there, and thanks for staying with. We're going to jump into our crash course on Crew AI, which is an absolutely fantastic way to utilize generative AI to further your knowledge, build freaking awesome applications. So let's dig in. And don't forget, please hit that like and subscribe button. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. I've already got everything pretty much set up for us here. Uh, you're going to have to go in and um, this is being done in Colab. So we got a pip install, crew AI, tools, yada, yada, yada. You're going to also have to uh, recommend going out and getting your open AI API key. You don't need the Serper API key. That's going to be used in the next video. So. Uh, you don't have to worry about that one, but you do need an open API key uh, that you're going to have to use and starts with an SK dash, etc. But what you'll do is once you get that, you're going to basically plug this in, uncomment it, and then hit the play button. So the real meat of this application is going on right here. And the way you have to think about it is Crew AI is built on Langchain, which is basically connecting all these different types of LLMs and tools and so forth so that you can build agents that go out and do a very specific task. And this is what we're doing in this case. We're creating multiple agents, two of them. Um, there can be more than two, but we've got two right now. Uh, for the simplicity purposes of this crash course and we're going to have basically this researcher agent piece we give them a role as a cybersecurity researcher uh, their goal and uh, these are some additional variables uh, that we're uh, putting together but important piece here is also the backstory and then the tools that they're going to be able to use because as an agent, they do need to go out and use a tool. And in this particular instance, uh, they're using the DuckDuckGo search. Uh, we also have our writer agent in this instance, which is a tech writer that's going to be crafting and engaging in informative newsletter articles about cybersecurity and exploit development. So again, this can be anything that you want, uh, any type of analysis that you want run, research topic, but in this instance, I chose something that's of interest to me, which is cybersecurity and exploit development. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and hit that play button to get that initialized and get that within our collab. Next thing we're going to be doing is going to be doing um, importing um, additional uh, items that we need from Crew AI. And we have to develop the research tasks because in addition uh, to what we're doing is we're going to have our research task um, that's going to be associated with the researcher and then a writing task that's associated with the writer. And we have to include a description, expected output, uh, the tools that they're going to be using again, and uh, the right task and so forth. And so again... Um, these are the tasks that we're building and providing additional depth um, information to both of these agents. We then bring it together, we bring this crew uh, together, and we generate it as agents, which are a researcher and our writer, the tasks of the research task, write task, and uh, sequential process. Then we're going to uh, kick it off. Now, you can do this in Markdown language. There's plenty of tutorials out there, but also we'll be doing in future videos. Again, this is the bare minimum to show how you can get your own crew AI up and running. And so let's just hit that. And so let's see what is going to be, what type of information, what type of newsletter article we're going to be getting uh, put together. And so as you see here now, as we move down, you're going to see it as it continually uh, goes out takes a look at uh, different findings that it finds in DuckDuckGo and then it's going to continue to 
narrow down. It's going to continue to uh, research. And as you see right here, the actions, um, it's basically latest news in exploit development. Uh, the researcher then is going to do exploit development of 2023 and continually finds um, what it finds from. It'll then further tailor additional articles and as you can see it's getting a little bit more specific so it started at very broad level of generative ai um, excuse me uh, latest research and exploit development and then it goes into uh, explicit or um, it goes into very specific cves uh, that it's finding and ransomware attacks now as you see it has a thought and final report and as we're can just continuing to uh, go down and further develop, it's generated a newsletter article and it's going to have it within a blog post. And so what we see here in conclusion in this very simple crash course is that you can go out and create a very simple task that it's going to continually almost you want to think about it recursively going down digging deeper and taking a look at what it needs to do for research writing on that research and then developing it into a mode or a uh, however you like to do it within a blog post or whatever you like so anyways that's it for uh, this crash course again make sure to hit like and subscribe and We'll see you in the next video. So have a good one. Thanks.